Yo, what's up guys, Felix from Giant Lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanna give you guys some quick motivation. If you're losing your motivation, let me throw on some lights in here. If you're losing your motivation to become financially successful, financially well off, become rich, become successful, um, you know, become financially independent, whatever it is, and you're losing your motivation, I wanna give you the motivation you need right now because I just left the store and I'm actually going on a little, you know, six, seven day vacation with my buddy out to uh, Columbia. And, um, you know, I'm buying a few things before I leave. And I'm really seeing how much inflation is really uh, making itself very readily known right now it's something to me it doesn't really hurt me because i put myself in a position to be financially successful but it's very well known and it's very obvious that inflation is happening very quickly just for example i don't care where you're located in the states gas is rising and it's rising quickly um i seen an article on i think it was from jp morgan or something and they said that gas by the middle of summer will be between six and seven dollars a gallon for regular gas that's not premium that's not diesel so gas is going up to you know high amounts of you know prices you know six seven eight nine maybe even ten dollars a gallon i seen a youtube video where a guy was driving in the middle of utah now obviously probably costs a lot to get into this particular gas station but it was twelve dollars a gallon so you know inflation is going up and everything is just going to start costing more the days of you know struggling but getting by a couple hundred dollars a week or maybe you know two three four five thousand dollars a month is you know no longer you need an extra two three four five thousand dollars a month on top of what you're already doing just to keep up with how much stuff is actually costing in this world so like for now i just got a tied white stick and i got um you know this little bottle of listerine and if you want to guess how much it is drum roll um it was nine dollars and four cents my buddy who lives in miami the one i'm going with now obviously it's miami and prices are inflated but uh, he said that he went into the store, CVS, Walgreens, whatever, and bought like a bunch of stuff, like you know, toothpaste, deodorant, stuff like that. And he spent a hundred and ten bucks for something that you know I personally think might have probably costed, you know, fifty. Uh, sixty dollars so if you never had the motivation to you know or if you do have the motivation but you know sometimes in this journey of success entrepreneurship financial freedom you go through something called a dip so when you first initially hear about and i'm just backing up one moment if you when you first initially hear about the idea of creating financial freedom creating financial independence and really getting life on your terms uh in the beginning you know you get all excited but when you're not immediately become successful it can kind of be a bit defeating you know because you know everybody thinks and I, I can remember that i used to think that you know as soon as i started my real estate journey all the way back in 20 uh 2013 i thought just like that i would be successful and we all know how untrue that is it takes time it takes you know consistent persistent action so you know the lighting in this video um isn't the greatest but i really just wanted to make this video to emphasize how important and how you know it's a must that you become successful it's a must that you become financially well off it's a it's a must you become financially independent it's a must that you add an extra two three four five thousand dollars a month to your income on top of what you're already doing so if you're at nothing you need to take you know you need to be making at least you know six seven eight nine ten thousand dollars a month in my personal opinion to live good now can you get by on three four five thousand yes you can but with the way prices are going on everything from gas to you know basic necessities to rent to everything um if you're not making really good money in this day and age in this world it's 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 going to be tough you're going to struggle and it's you're not going to be able to live life on your terms yes you could get by but you know the, the the difference between living life on your terms and you know you know struggling from day to day is you know night and day it's you know it's comparing apples to oranges when i really you know 10x my income and what i said in another video when i really 10x my income and you know started making when my bills were 2000 and i'm making 20,000 that's when your life changes but now more than ever you need to do that because like i said i just bought um, a Tide white stick and Listerine and it cost me almost 10 bucks and I literally I had my debit card on me but I didn't want to use it I could have but I just had a $10 because I don't carry tons and tons of cash I had a $10 bill on me and I threw an extra uh, thing of like a little tub of gum it was like uh, 
Orbit or something like that, where it's like a 50 or 60 piece of gum. I usually don't chew too much gum, but I was like, you know what, let me get this. And uh, it was $3.99. Now it's not a lot. I could have easily pulled out my debit card and swiped my card, but I was just like, wow, the prices of things are going up. I bought a big one of these probably two weeks ago. It was like a really big jug and it was $11. So, you know, like this is just a motivation. If, if you ever felt like, hey, I, maybe you bought a course or you bought into some sort of mentorship, but you fell off and now you're like, I got to get back to it. Because listen, we're all human. Sometimes we'll start something, we'll stop. We'll start something, we'll stop. But, you know, when you actually commit and persist and don't give up until you get your results, that's when, you know, you'd be like, okay, I really did this. And, I, and you know, I'm, I'm happy I stuck it through. So if you if you if you fell off the, the the train a little bit and you fell off the the, the bandwagon of you know towards your green, your dreams your goals your success your aspirations this is the motivation video where I'm saying that you know we don't know if gas is going to come down we don't know if the cost of living is going to come down we don't know what we it holds in the future I mean maybe there's scientists and there's people who study stuff like this that can predict but. We can only deal with what we have right now. And I would say, while we know what we know right now, while stuff is going up, stack your money, stack your, get your financial position in order, right? Because you don't want to be caught out here, you know, empty handed. The government, who knows with the government? You could believe what you want. But me personally, how I look at it is the government is not coming to save you. So you need to build some sort of cash flow, some sort of system that's going to bring money in for yourself and your family and the people you care about. Because this, if this world stays at this price, say it stays at this threshold, 60 years ago, how much was a gallon of gas? I don't know, 50, 60 cents? It's never going to go back to that. So maybe this is the new norm, right? So if this is the new norm, then you need to prepare and you need to put yourself in a position where this is affordable. Obviously, would we prefer gall gallons of gas to be at a dollar? Yes. But how I look at it is I never complain. I just say, listen, I need to make more money. You know, 95% of your problems in life can be solved with money. Can Does money equate happiness? No. Does money make you, you know, a better person? No. Money just makes you more of who you already are. But I'm saying I'm just making this video to say, and I was going to do it last week when I bought something, where I, when I bought this big thing of Listerine, it was 10 bucks. But, you know, I, I, once I did it today, I said, you know what, enough is enough. I need to tell people that this is the fire you need to, you need to hear this because if, the, if this is the new norm, you know, three to, you know, Staying at three that not adding an additional three thousand dollars a month to your income, even if you're at already at ten thousand dollars, is 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 not an option. You need to add an extra three thousand dollars a month in the next six months to your income to be able to live a good life. Because if prices go up another twenty five percent, we don't know what stuff is going to cost. Now, like I said, I have a bunch of videos on my channel. You guys can go through and see all the different side hustles I recommend. I talk about flipping medical commodities, flipping pallets, becoming an independent courier, recovering lost surplus funds. Some are long term plays, some are short term plays. But nonetheless, you need a uh, a plan or a play to add some extra money to your uh, monthly salary, quarterly salary, or uh, annual salary. But nonetheless, whatever it is, you need to add an extra stream of income to your income to be able to compete or co keep up with what life is now costing. This might just be the new norm. So if you fell off, get back on your hustle. If you bought a course and you didn't go through it, go through it tonight. If you bought mentorship programs or you bought a coaching program and you didn't take full advantage of it, go through it tonight because you know, stuff is only going to pro probably go up and you need to be prepared. You need to put yourself in a position where you're able to take care of yourself, your family and your loved ones, no matter what the price is. Don't complain that you don't have enough. Just go out there and make more money because, you know, a dollar to you and a dollar to a billionaire is way different scenarios. Yes, obviously, like I said, I don't care how much you have. If you got to pay money out to a situation or to somebody, you get sued, you know, Nobody wants to pay the money out, but you know, you don't want to go to the grocery store or restaurant with your family and your loved ones. And instead of looking at what you really want, you're looking at the prices because everything went up 25%. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like on it. Um, more content coming soon. Thank you guys so much. See you guys later. Peace.